Hey, Mr. Hanson, I will call the pharmacy with the prescription. Yes, give me a call if there's any more problem. Simone, honey, what are you doing? You should you be up walking around? <laughs> Come on, sit down. Fine, don't worry. Dr. Collins says I can't even go home. Well, good. I'm glad you're going to be all right. Sit down. Sweetheart, can you ever forgive me? I, I'm sorry. Tom, you, you've got to stop blaming yourself now. Come on. I don't know who else to blame. It's all my fault we lost the baby. No, you're not to blame because that man, he... He, he deserved to be here. You know, he deliberately goaded you into the fight. I lost control. I shouldn't have let what he said get to me. Things like that are just kind of messy, you know. We've got to try to put it behind us and just go on with our lives. Do you know how much I love you? Look, I am never going to let anything hurt you ever again. I, I know, and I love you too, but... Hey, maybe we could forget that it ever happened. That may be easier said than done. Why? Tom, did something happen last night? Did you get into trouble? Look, I don't want you to worry about it or anything else. I just want you to get your strength back. No, come on. Did something happen? Tell me. Nothing for you to worry about. Hey, 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 look who's what? here. Come on. Oh, Mom. Hi, baby. Oh, darling, oh, I'm Mom, so I'm, sorry. I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, I know, I know. Thank you. Hello, Tom. I know what Pauline. you're going through. Thank I'm you. Sorry. Are you right, baby? Mm -hmm. Little girl's going to be all right. Good news, she's going to be released from the hospital today. Oh, that is good news. How are you feeling, darling? You know, Mom, I'm a little empty right now. Yes, I know. And that is exactly why I want you to come home with me this afternoon. afternoon. Home? You mean New York City? Yes, I think it's a good idea, just for a little while. Well, I think it's a good idea, too. A home does sound pretty good to me, you know? Wait a minute, Simone. Your home is here with me. Look, we have to be together to help each other get through this. Tom, how can I help you if I can't even help myself right now? I need to be home. Excuse me. Yes, Amy. Um, the eighth floor just called. Your patient at 814 is asking to see you right away. She said she's feeling stressed out. Thank you, Amy. Look, I have to go, but I will be back. We're going to talk about this before you take my wife anywhere. Come in, but make it fast, honey. I'm in a terrible rush. You're working too hard, Elsa May. Oh, Sherlyn, please. I don't have time for you today. I am absolutely strong. I think it'll be worth your while to hear what I have to say. About what? About Colton Shore's TV show. Well, we have that all under control. Oh, I'm sure you do. But I have an idea that will make it a financial success overnight. Interested? Well, that depends, honey. What's in it for you? I think 10% of the donations would be fair. Donations? That's the nucleus of my idea for packaging the show. What are you talking about? This show is a natural, almost better than dial a friend. People call in with their problems, Colton helps them with the positive approach, and they feel even better when they send in a small sum to one of our charities. One of our charities? Are you talking a charity like that, what, the Cheryl Stansberry Fund for Plastic Surgery type charity? Is that what we're no, about? we'll be contributing to real, legitimate charities. We'll be really doing some good after certain expenses. Uh -huh. Certain expenses. Of course. Mm -hmm. You have to spend money to make money. So, are you interested or not? Well, Charlene, I have to tell you that neither the station nor myself can actually participate financially in something like this. But I'm willing to listen to the details, but I want to know every little bitty string that is attached to this. And I want you to tell it to me very slowly. Fine. Now, you know as well as I do, and I am absolutely sure that you'll agree that your lives would be a lot easier if Tony had that job. Mm -hmm. Tony has you out campaigning for him, doesn't he? No, he <laughs> doesn't. Come on, you've got to agree with me that if a younger man was in that position, then your working lives would be a lot less complicated. You do have a point, Lucy. Tony was a resident himself not too long ago. Yeah, he's got to remember what it was like. Oh, of so. course he does. And I am positive that he would listen to all your complaints with an open mind. Oh, to have somebody oh. listen to what we have to say. Wouldn't that be a nice change? Hey. Lucy, I think we'd all be happy if Tony got the job, but what can we do to help? Yeah, we don't exactly have a lot of clout with the powers that be. And you know, Dr. Hardy hasn't asked my opinion on anything in weeks. Okay, yeah. What about you? Mm, not lately. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, look, I know you can't all just rush in and, and, and storm his office and make demands, mm -hmm. but you could make a, a simple suggestion to him. Tell him that if Tony gets that job, it would be a definite morale boost. Mm. Okay. Oh, listen, I, I've, I've got to get to an appointment. I'm late, but think about it, okay? okay I'll see I all of you know. later. See I'll see you later. Bye. Take care. <laughs> She's right, you know. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt to suggest. No, no, it wouldn't. But it wouldn't be too good for too many people to tell him. Okay, True. look, I vote for you and Walt. You guys yeah. talk to Dr. Hardy. Yeah. All right, I'm game, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it? Yeah. Okay, if, as long as that's what, you know, what we want. Hey, that's what we want, it. isn't it? Go. Okay, then I'm, I'll go along. But, you know, he could misinterpret this as interfering, you know, and like I tell him how to do his job. It's you true. could also uh, blow his stack. Hey, I think, <laughs> it's, I think it's worth the risk, don't you? I mean, if we don't open our mouths, we'll never get any changes around here. Right about that. Right. If we don't make some noise, nobody will. Yeah, yeah right. True. All right. You're going to hold me a nice shit, good friend. You got it. <laughs> See you later. Bye, bye. <laughs> All right. What the Great, let's do no, it. wait just a minute. Let me do the talking, okay? Well, it's my idea. I know, but it's very nervous about this, and I want to be the one that's... I want you to scare him to death. Colton! Hi, how are you? Well, what did you see? Hi, Tiffany. Miss Stansberry. Oh, please, call me Cheryl. Yes, well, excuse me. <laughs> so, what's up, ladies? Well, I thought we'd have a little conference about the show. You see, I have set a date for the debut. When is it? One week from tomorrow. So soon? Why, well, it doesn't give me much time to get myself ready. Now, Colton, I, mean, I, I want you just to relax and leave everything to me. Do not worry about anything. I don't know. Well, I do know, okay? You've been in very good hands. I've got the whole show mapped out. You can have as much rehearsal time as you want. And I'm going to be in the booth talking to you through the headphones every moment of the time. Okay? You'll be fine. Tiffany knows what she's doing. I certainly do. I would never let you do it if I didn't think you were ready. Well... Okay, but I just wish I had as much confidence in me as you do. Oh, you've got natural talent. You just be yourself. You're going to be terrific. It's your money. What can I say? But I just wish you weren't spending so much of it trying to get me on the air. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, because we're here to ease your mind about that. Yes, that's where Cheryl's plan comes in. Your plan? Uh, it absolutely eliminates any financial risk. I have a plan that will put your show in the black from day one. We're setting up the Colton Connection Foundation. A foundation? Yes. It's a charitable institution to take care of all the donations from your audience. Donations? Wait a minute. Are you saying you want me to go on TV and ask people for money? Well, no, I, I wouldn't put it exactly that way. You'll be asking for donations for charity. Uh-uh. No, thank you anyway. If that's what you have in mind, you can find yourself another boy. Well, I, I hope the tour went well in neurosurgery. Yes, we were really quite impressed. Dr. Jones gave us a very thorough tour. Good work going on here. Well, thank you. You know, General Hospital's always been a leader in innovative techniques. I'm sure you'll be equally impressed with the outpatient facilities and the family clinic. I hope it's not standard operational procedure for outpatients to be attacked by physicians. Yes, that was really quite a shocking display we witnessed last well, I night. I just want to reassure you that Dr. Tom Hardy does not make a practice of attacking patients. Well, really? We did witness two separate altercations. He's a fine doctor. I'm sure he was provoked. The man was being abusive about Tom's wife. Nevertheless, I'm not sure any provocation can justify what we saw. It's not the kind of thing we like to put in our report. Well, it doesn't have to go in the report, does it? I am afraid so. Dr. Marco, please call the lab. Shall we get on with it? I'd like to break for lunch after we see the clinic. Good idea. Shall we? Up to you. This is not good, Tony. I'm telling you, this is the first time General Hospital's been in trouble with an accreditation committee. And Steve's son was the cause of it, poor guy. It's Steve I feel sorry for. Thank you for seeing us, Dr. Hardy. Yes, thank you, sir. We realize how busy you are. In that case, I'm sure you'll make it brief. What is it? It's about your assistant chief of staff position. We are here to speak on behalf of a number of the residents. We have a, a suggestion. Well, actually, we have a request. And that is? Well, as I said, we're here to speak on behalf of a number of the residents who feel the same way we do, sir. Now, please don't misunderstand us. We are not complaining, but we feel that it would be very beneficial to this hospital if you would consider somebody for the position who was a resident himself not too long ago. Like Tony Jones? Yes, sir. It, exactly. Yeah, we feel it would boost morale if the assistant understood that the traditional uh, treatments of residents just isn't cutting it anymore. Who put you up to this? 
Excuse well, me? Dr. Hardy, we're just trying to... I know what you're trying to do. I'll ask you one more time. Who put you up to this? 